Live text access training for real time intralingual subtitlers. This is Unit 3 IT Competence. In this presentation, we will be dealing with Element 1 Input Tools. The topic of this presentation is macros. This video lecture has been created by SubT Access, an accessibility service provider from Italy. My name is Enrico Pigliacampo and I work for SubT Access. I have a beard, short hair, and I don't wear glasses. I will be displayed in a box at the top right corner of each slide. The learning outcome for this presentation is to implement strategies to rapidly produce texts, macros, house styles, shortcuts during a real-time job by means of using respeaking software and velotyping or tapping software. In this presentation, we will see what are macros and how they can be created in Dragon. What is a macro? A macro, which stands for macro instruction, is a programmable pattern which translates a certain sequence of input into a preset sequence of output. Macros can make tasks less repetitive by representing a complicated sequence of keystrokes, mouse movements, commands or other types of input. The difference between a macro and a shortcut is that the former is a command you give to the software to obtain a preset output while shortcuts are a combination of keys or words in the case of vocal shortcuts that make it possible to perform an action faster. Macros in Dragon Macros can be very useful for rest speakers. As Arumi, Ribas and Romero Fresco wrote, rest speakers can set the software to display a word or group of words every time they utter a given command which they can make up. This can be helpful to save much needed time when re-speaking, but also to avoid potential misrecognitions, to improve punctuation and to change the subtitle color orally. In the next slide, you will find a video of me explaining macros in Dragon. In this video, I will show you how to create macros with Dragon Naturally Speaking. Dragon is already open on my computer. I go to the Dragon bar, click on Tools and then on Add New Command. The My Commands editor opens up. In this case, I want Dragon to write SubT access every time I say Macro SubT. So, in my command name, I write the name of my macro, which is macro sub t. I train the software to recognize my voice every time I say macro sub t. I click on train and then again on train. Macro sub t. Then I click on save. I can add a description if I want to and choose in which group I want to save the macro. I will save it in user defined because it is a macro I created myself. I can also choose the availability of the macro whether I want it to be always available, only in specific applications or only in specific windows. I want it always available. Then I have to choose the command type. In this case, Autotext is the right one because I want a specific text output. But there are also other types of macros that I could choose. We will see Macro Recorder later on. In content, I will write the text that I want to appear when I say macro sub t. 
so I write sub t axis I can also choose how I want this text to look like for example I can change the font I want Arial 36 Then I click on save to save the macro. I can create other types of macro. For example, if I want to change the color of the text using a macro instead of the mouse, I go to the dragon bar and open the My Command Editor. I want Dragon to change the color of the text to red every time I say macro red. So I write macro red in the my command name field. And I train it. Macro red. I click on save, the macro will be saved again in user defined and will be always available. Now I have to change the command type to macro recorder. Now I will have to click on record so that the software records every movement I make with the mouse and everything I click in order to repeat it when I say macro red. I close the recorder and you can see that Dragon recorded all the movements I made with the mouse. I can delete some of them to make it faster. I select the movements I want to delete and delete them. Of course, this is just an example. You can create macros for many different purposes. Now let's see how these macros work in practice. I will turn on the microphone and dictate a short text. Macro sub T is an Italian company, comma. Macro red. It is an accessibility service provider. Dot. This is just an example. Macros are very useful for real time intralingual subtitlers. They will help you to work faster and to improve the quality of your service. You can also edit a macro. You go to the dragon bar. click on tools, then on command browser. The list of all commands and macros appears. The macros are created are in the user defined group. Here they are, the macros I created. I click with the right button of my mouse on the macro I want to edit and then click on edit. My command editor opens up and I can change the properties of the macro that I want to change. Summary To sum up, macros are very important for speakers. They can help you to improve your speed and quality while transcribing a text. 
You need to exercise in order to understand how macros can help you at best. Exercises Exercise 1. Create at least 20 macros in Dragon, 10 macros that produce text and 10 commands. Exercise 2. Choose a written text and transcribe it using macros whenever possible. When you feel comfortable, use videos instead of written texts. LTA Live Text Access Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona SDI Internationale Hochschule Scuola Superiore per Mediatori Linguistici ZDF Digital European Federation of Hard of Hearing People FO Velotype Sub T Access European Certification and Qualification Association ECQA Co-funded by the Erasmus Plus Programme of the European Union Erasmus Plus Project 2018-1-DE01-KA203-004212 the information and views set on this presentation are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official opinion of the European Union. Neither the European Union institutions and bodies, nor any person acting on their behalf, may be held responsible for the use which may be made of the information contained here.